Howdy, my name is Scott. Welcome to Go Small, Live Large YouTube channel all about the Class B RV and the lifestyle that goes with it. If you're shopping for a Class B RV, you do not want to miss this video. It is a video tour of an owner of an Embassy RV based on a Ford Transit van. It's the Traveler floor plan and he walks us through why he bought an Embassy, the floor plan itself, some of the features, and then he has a really good tip at the end. So you don't want to miss that. Let's get into it. This is the Embassy RV Traveler, Greg's van, recorded in early June, 2021. Let's roll. So hey, we got a special treat for you today. We've got Greg, an Embassy RV owner. He's owned your rig for one year now, right? Yes. Yeah, so pretty cool. So he's been gracious enough here to give us a little tour of his van. I think you're gonna like this. We've actually never toured a van of a customer. We've always done these tours in, in uh, Terry's factory. So Greg, just thanks again for being gracious with your time and Thank you, Scott. It's helping us share his home. So maybe just uh, hand you the microphone. Let's jump inside just because it's windy out here. I'll give you the microphone. Let's talk about the, the it's a Ford Transit. And we'll talk about that and then just uh, give a little tour uh, on the inside. So we're gonna give Greg the we're gonna give Greg the microphone, but just a couple questions on on uh, experience with Embassy RV. So you've had your van for a year now. This yep. was the first time you had it at the camp out last year, and um, met your expectations. Is it why you have a van to start with? Maybe just kind of just a little tiny background on that. You're from the Chicagoland area, right? Yep, northwest suburb northwest of suburbs. Chicago. Um, went through a tent um, pop-ups, um, Class C's, Class A. So uh, at this point, I just want to be able to. Uh, do some more sightseeing, not have to worry about pulling something and driving a big Class A, just pull in and enjoy. You know? So that's why I went with the Class B. As far as uh, the Embassy, uh, I just like the fact um, of the materials used, no propane, no wood, spare tire, uh, lithium, um, you know, it made a lot of sense. Yeah. And I like the floor plan of the Traveler. And mm -hmm. you roll mostly solo. Yes. Yeah, so that's pretty easy for you. Um, how'd you find out about Embassy? Through you. <laughs> that's a softball question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of the folks have uh, learned about it from me. And, uh, you know, I live in a Travado. I love my Travado. But um, these Embassies are so cool. They feel so yacht-like to me. It's just what it feels like you're in an expensive Learjet or a yacht. Right. A lot of the materials and the... Um, Components that you know Terry uses are from the marine industry. Yeah, so you know, so they're definitely a little uh, substantial. You know. Substantial. Maybe on the outside, um, it's really stealthy. Yes. Meaning there's no awning, there's no water ports, or it's it's a very different approach. So no AC on the top. No AC on the top. There's uh, uh, just a 130 amp um, smart plug connector. That's it on the and outside. That's it. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, well, how about give us a tour of your floor plan? Um, I think people are going to like this. And this, uh, the floor plan is there's, there's three models, right? The, the Traveler Sport, the Traveler Traveler, and the Traveler Duo. Yes. Right? And this is a Traveler. Yes. Okay. And the only modification or controlled custom that I did was to have a space for my folding electric bike. Hmm. I wanted it inside. And uh, so uh, Terry designed a spot for the folding bike. So in, in order to do that, I eliminated one... Uh, wardrobe cabinet and um, well you're such a fashionista so yeah <laughs> <laughs> I still have a hanging bar above the bike area but the um, I, I don't miss the cabinet okay. versus the storage that's cool yeah this bike storage is pretty pretty important yeah okay let's um, let's jump up and give us a tour so like a lot of the vans uh, you're um, again the Ford Trans is very different than the Promaster because it's a really much taller floor plan here and the sp both seats spin around. Uh, Greg, kind of tell us about this area right here. So kind of a sofa, sofa turns into a bed. Maybe explain that to us. Yeah, the, the, you could move the bed out, driver's side or the passenger side bed. Um, and that's the bed extended. And that becomes the, um, by the way, that was really quiet. <laughs> it's pretty amazing <laughs> and really fast. And that's it. And that's bed is made. Yeah, bed is made. Wow, that's really simple, huh? And, um, and then this bad boy does the same thing on this side? Correct. Okay. Both beds extend 
out, and then this is the bed extension, the lower part here. So this will come out here and just pull this this way. No, you don't need to do it. That's fine. Brace getting ready to leave, so we don't want to tear that <laughs> thing apart. Um, so the bed size, what, what size do you think this one is here? Uh, it's 80 inches long, um, and this is 72 inches long. With both of them put, pulled together? Yes. And you're essentially you solo use probably to sleep on the one side only? Yes. Yeah, sleep on one side only? Okay. And we'll put this back in. Again, really quiet. And really fast. Now, are you putting bedding on this, or you just kind of put like a sleeping, lightweight sleeping bag or something? I or? picked up one of the RV super bags okay. that has the, it's basically a sleeping bag with the sheets Velcroed into it. Ah. So then you could take the sheets out and clean them and, yeah. and put it back in. I just lay that on the top and either sleep on top of that or under it. And, under it. That's cool. And just make it simple. It's, it's so, it's really soft. It's not ultra leather, <laughs> but it's really. Marine. Really, really lovely. Vinyl. Um, Easy to clean. So one of my favorite things is right above us here, which is the TV. Oh, what's this? That's the uh, vent system. Oh, yes. The four vents that are outside. And um, there's two in and two out. So it's... Oh, it's blowing. Yeah. That's cool. I don't think I've ever seen one of those demonstrated. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That is really cool. And the purpose of this is to have air moving in the van. Right. Because the windows don't open. Correct. Terry's very intentional about the windows. And you do have a shade mechanism here, is that yes. right? Yes. So you can block it that way. Yep. Super simple. Any position. Yeah, that is great. Okay. Um, that is so cool. And this button is for uh, exterior light. Oh, okay, cool. And uh, dimmable. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Okay. Let's trade spaces because this is, I think, one of the coolest things that's right above me. Okay. And um, my TV is kind of in a weird place and small. Yours is in an awesome spot and huge. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen. 32 inch TV. 32 inch TV. Just... That swings down so you can see it from everywhere in the van. Laying down. Uh, do you use it often? Yeah. It's... Watching movies or whatever? Watching YouTube channels. YouTube channels. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to look on the 32 inch screen. I always watch it on my iPad. That's funny. Oh my God. Look at that. That is so cool. And then you have a sound, uh, sound system with it. Yep. Um, again, kind of four speakers, I think, right? Uh, six. There's six speakers. There's one here. Uh, four up front and two in the back. Two, see, that's really nice. Um, that's so cool. Tell us about these cabinets, because his approach, again, no wood in an embassy RV. Correct. Um, now, do things stick to this? Can you put stickers in it like my van? or mm, Some. It, it's not as long lasting. There's oil yeah. in the, the um, marine okay. plastic, but it's, it's doable. Might get away with it a little yeah. bit. But. Tell me about the cabinetry. Is it... um, it's very simple. I mean, it's latches and, you know, it's... Yeah, it's a very different approach system, again. Yeah. yeah, than most people. But it's super easy, right? Yeah. Super easy. So and there's inside. a locking Blocking cabinet. One. This is partitioned here. And then, you know... Just cabinets, cabinets, cabinets. Yeah. But tell us about uh, S-Bar, because Embassy's approach to heating and, and hot water is very different <clears> than what I'm used to. So again, no propane, right? Nope. No propane. So S-Bar, what is it and how does it, how do you generate some heat <clears throat> or hot water? There's a six gallon water heater underneath the bed extension. Okay. Uh, that's heated um, either electrically with a 30 amp service or the uh, glycol from the engine heats it. Or if you just turn on the, the glow plug, it just sips gas and, mm. and heats it. So he uses the fuel from the vehicle itself, the, right. not a separate fuel source. Right. Or when you plug in. Right. Okay. And it's just a matter of this is the fan if, if you wanted heat <clears throat> to come out. You know, if it's hot, it's going to blow hot air. Hot air. Uh, two speeds. <clears throat> and then this sets the temperature if you wanted to. Um, um, Use the, the vehicle gas to, to, to heat the vehicle. To heat the, okay. And it just, you know, dials in. more and pretty easy. <clears throat> right. Pretty basic. It's Lower pretty hot, high. pretty fast? Yes. It, almost too much? <clears throat> well, <clears throat> like I pulled into here on, <clears throat> excuse me, um, Friday at 3, 
and it's it's 150 degrees glycol and heating it so it was still warm saturday morning uh, <clears throat> i mean not hot you yeah. know but it was still warm yeah, get water warm water out. yeah hey if you're enjoying this sure would appreciate a thumb up lets me know you like it helps youtube share it out to more people interested in the same content comment below what do you like about this van why are you curious about a van RV to begin with. Where are you watching from? That's always interesting to me. And you want to visit my website, gosmalllivelarge.com. We have information on there you will not see on YouTube. And we do a lot of events with viewers like you. It'd be an honor to meet you and just talk more RVing and van life. So one thing that a lot of people are looking for is the insulation in a van. Mine is kind of moderately insulated, not really well as yours because Embassy does a very different approach. Maybe temperature control inside the van has been pretty amazing. Yes. It, it, uh, maybe tell us about that. It's, um, you know, there's the eight layers of aircraft insulation in inch and a half on the floor. Um, mm. One of the reasons I went with the, the Ford was the extra height. Which is um, nice. You know, not a, a usable height, but then it allows him to put the inch and a half, you know, uh, insulation on the floor. And you're not going to lose any height. And know? so you definitely feel a difference. Definitely. Um, and that it's um, yeah they and feel sound and know. sound yeah the sound editing very cool uh, let's take a look at the galley one thing I love about his galleys is the simplicity of it although it's really well thought out um, and this is so sink residential sink yeah. right yep look at that huge and uh, residential faucet um, nice little view out the window here um, <laughs> making Greg <Greg's> work. <laughs> Uh, some cabinetry, which is pretty cool. Um, that's fine. And then there's um, microwave up here. So full galley functionality. Yep. Now, this is kind of an embassy thing, I think. Is this um, routed? Yes. Thing. So you so you have a, a flat surface, but it's got a little bit of a lip here. Hopefully you folks can see that. And the purpose is, so if there's something spilled, it's mm -hmm. not running on your floor, which is what happens in mine. Right. Right? Definitely. Okay. You have a chance to get some of it. <laughs> so, that, <yeah>, right? <laughs> <laughs> so this is a test for the audience. What's missing here? Yes, where's the cooktop? How do you uh, how do you fry an egg? Um, the induction cooktop, so that works off the lithium battery, and um, or well, you could use the microwave or the induction cooktop, or I have a griddle. Ah, okay, okay. So, so you don't miss a uh, propane uh, or propane or a stovetop embedded into no. the countertop. I mean, it's nice and convenient, but it's another system. Yeah, and. Yeah, just keep it simple. <laughs> and then right beh uh, behind you here is this amazing. So I have the same kind of Nova Cool. Yours is up higher. I think yours is bigger too. Yes. Mine's only about this tall. So tell us about this. How how, how do you love this thing? It's I like the size. Um, the height is so awesome, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. And I like the fact that this guy's got his priorities right. <laughs> <laughs> um, the one so nice freezer down here, and this is it's not freezing right now, but and this is the fridge, obviously. Well, that's the nice thing. It's two compressors, oh. individually controlled. So you could have it run as two refrigerators, which is what I have now. Oh. You could have a refrigerator freezer, or you could not turn this one on and just have a big storage Oh, spot. I did not know that. That's cool. Yeah. That's really it's nice. It's independently controlled. That's super That's so, super cool. And I just love this stainless yeah. look, too, right? Sorry, I just like, what are your hands on? <laughs> this is your pantry, I assume? Yep. Okay. I'll, um... So maybe demonstrate the, uh, oh yeah, look at how much doors. storage is in there, ladies and gentlemen. Holy cow. So your system's here. Now I noticed this light here. This one's kind of obvious. But there's another one here, right? And there's one here. So it's a little bit of mood lighting at yes. night, which is really Both awesome. on the ceiling and on the floor. Oh, on the floor too. I yeah. did not know that. Yep. Uh, super cool. It's hard to see it yeah. daytime. Yeah. This is just great. I love this. Yeah. Um, dimmable, everything's dimmable. Dimmable. Um, LEDs. So everybody likes to talk about toilets and tanks and waters because <laughs> it's kind of the RV thing. So maybe just kind of share with us. Um, and Embassy does a very different approach to those RV systems. So, um, so you uh, talk about water. So fresh water on board is how much? Uh, Twenty-six gallon. Twenty-six gladder. gallons down here. Right underneath the sofa. Okay. And twenty-six gallon gray, six gallon water tank. Or for, for the heater. hot water, okay. Right. Right, right and here, then there's a PVC capture system underneath the um, shower that captures 10 gallons of gray water of for gray water sink and shower from That's the shower. Amazing. And um, everyone likes to talk about black tanks and toilets, so mm. let's ask you what your system is like there. 
I went with the Lavio dry flush toilet. Okay. And um, so there's no black tank, no... No black tank. That's pretty amazing. And um, works pretty good? Yes. I like it. Yeah, so you... It's convenient. You use it once for a number one, and you put stuff in there to kind of absorb a little bit so you can use it again and again before you actually flush a bag? Yeah. yeah. I use the... Um, just some you know, cat litter. Cat litter. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Some people use some cedar chips or something. And okay. Cat Works pretty good, easy. huh? Yeah. <laughs> so awesome. It's cheap. It's easy. <laughs> I know cheap and easy. Who doesn't like that? Oh my gosh. Um, and maybe so. Maybe just show us the bathroom quick. Okay. And then we'll talk about the tent because uh, he's got the you know one of the great things about Embassy. It's an option. Is he got a really cool? He calls it Cabana. Um, it's a pretty cool system. Yeah. So again, the Embassy bathroom is very different. So this is where the shower is here, where Greg's feet are. So you kind of shower in this space. There's a drain right there that's under his foot. Yep. Um, what makes it cool is there's like two pocket doors, right? There's one here yep. uh, that deploys this way. Pretty awesome, right? Look at that bifold door. I just love it. It's so cool in a van. Um, and there's one on that side, I think, right um, behind you. Uh, normally there would be on a trailer. But you got the tent, and that's why. I but with the um, when I put the um, folding bike in here, uh -huh. there's. The, the wall is not there. I got gotcha. you. So I just have a, a curtain. A shot of a curtain. You know. Okay. And plenty of space so it doesn't stick to him. Yeah. And this is uh, the sink, of course. Oh, no, the sink's right here. So you have just one, the one sink. One sink. This is the toilet. Toilet. Uh, a box. And there's the, uh, the commode. The world famous commode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at that. That is so cool. It, it, it have to take some while to get used to that? It, it does. Um, but... Once you're doing it, it's a second nature. Right. Now you look at a bowl of water in the thing, you're like, yeah. what a waste. <laughs> that is great. I love the, um, just the, the, uh, uh -oh, the, um, the mirror's really cool. Yep. Um, so listen, look at that. That's really nice. Really, really nice. And then some cabinetry above, so. Uh, and then this is the wardrobe you were talking about? Yes. There's normally two wardrobe cabinets. Okay. And one was eliminated for the bike and, um, the other is... And these are soft clothes drawers? Or yep. how do these... So they come out... Wow, look how far out they come. A long way, huh? Yeah. And then these glide in and soft clothes. Yeah. That's so beautiful. So much storage, right? Yes. And all the way... The storage on the floor. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's amazing. That's so great. And this is where your lagoon tables uh, would store. Yep. Um, they're not, well, they're not employed. Right here. All right. That was great. That was super <laughs> awesome. Thanks for um, giving us a tour of your van. So awesome. Um, does it have a name? Mickey. Mickey, because? <laughs> Big uh, story. <laughs> it's a long story. <laughs> it's a long story. Yeah. But Mickey, that's a cool name. Uh, sentimental value, though, right? Yes. Yeah, first, first to say. Um, any suggestions for people looking to buy a van, whether, uh, well, Class B, but as you went through the process of buying a van, what, what tips would you give somebody that helped you? It's uh, like you've said many times, it's you know, how do you want to use it? What do you want to do with it? Mm -hmm. And um, so you make sure you get the right floor plan and the right features, you know, that allow you to do that. To enable the Y. And uh, in addition to that, again, having had various ones, I, I knew the RV lifestyle. But um, I went out purposely drove used vans. And whether mm. it was a Promaster or a Ford or... Um, Winnebago, a coachman, it didn't matter. The, you know, I just wanted to drive used vans to see how they... The chassis. Yeah, to look at how they held up and drive the different chassis and, That's a good and learn about I've never it. heard that before. Know. Actually driving the van. Proceeding position, vehicle feel, um, yeah. drivability, power. And That's a great idea. So if it's a two or three year old van, how is it holding up and what's wrong with it? What's, mm -hmm. you know, and um, so you learn a lot about how it's made by, yeah. you know, what it looks like after a couple of years. That's cool. Pretty happy? Yes, very we're, happy. Where are heading out, out of here to? Uh, West Virginia. West Virginia. I have not been to West Virginia. Well, the very Actually, western no, edge. The Virginia Beach. Yeah, area, you know. there yet. <laughs> so. <laughs> it's on my list. I got a big list of places to go. Well, Greg, just thank you again for um, being an embassy customer, for showing us your, your awesome awesome van, Mickey, <laughs> and um, giving us some time today. Really appreciate that. Congratulations, by the right. way. One year, yep. anniversary. Yep. So happy for you. That's really awesome. Thank you, Scott. Give Greg a thumb up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.